hey it's Kim here and welcome back to Existences where we have begun our journey of following our inspiration. We followed our inspiration to the Grand Librarium. Thank you for the transportation sir. Librarian Liark says hmm don't mention it actually I have a request if you're willing. Oh yes if your journey takes you to Supild, Sufeld, I would like to accompany you. Gentlemen, sir, has required that I may only go there if I am accompanied by another. Oh, I suppose that would be fine, so long as you can provide transportation. I can. Thank you. And since playing the first section of this game, I have actually gone back and rewatched my more literal playthrough. Liark is someone from the first game. Not a good guy if you haven't seen it. So I'm not sure how much to expect as far as crossovers. This seems to be set before because we kind of defeated him. And I'm enjoying the idea of just following where your inspiration leads. That is an inspiring thought just all together. <laughs> Hi Librarian, Lady Valdiri? Valdiri. What a colourful lad you are. Look at you! You are exquisite. Is there anything I can help you with, sir? Well, first you can tell me where you got those fascinatingly beautiful tattoos. Oh, these old things! I etched these in years ago by yourself? Hardcore! Beyond doing librarian work, I specialise in etching runic tattoos for scholars and Wiccanry. Oh, wonderful! Your line work is exquisite. I'm sure the runes applied are quite useful as well. I'm not as well versed in runic encoding, so I'm not familiar with the function of yours. Oh, these affect chemicals within the body. It's a trick I learned from the Wiccanry in Moss Rhyme. I'm actually going to be visiting the Wiccanry who taught me these runes soon to reapply her tattoos. Hmm, I might be interested in coming along. I don't know much about Wiccanry culture. Well, let me know when you decide. I'd be happy to share more stories with you on our journey. I want to go get a tattoo, is how I'm feeling about that. Sorry, Liark. <laughs> what are you reading there, friend? Yangat Scholar. Oh, I'm reading a tome on the pilgrimage of bone reader Arthas. Apparently, later in Arthas's life, he disappeared quite suddenly claiming he was travelling to the mysterious lands of Ilithikin. Many of the settlements there actually came about because of all of the people who attempted to go looking for Arthas, the Dune village being the most prolific one. Hmm, fascinating. Was he ever found? Not according to our scholars, no. So where can we go? We can go to Moss Rhyme or Sufield. I want to go to Moss Rhyme. I feel sorry, 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 Liark, but I want to go get a tattoo if I can, if I may, would love to. This one's so tall and beautiful. I kind of just like exploring and seeing the areas too. It's just so quirky in a way. Whoa! You're amazing! Librarian Oz, how will I interpret this tale? I believe that Alexandria of the Wiccanry was present for this particular record. Perhaps I need to make a trip to Moss Rhyme to visit her for an accurate account. Hmm, I might have trouble if they find out I'm apprenticed under the Witch of Rot. Biography section 32. Rofania Master Embermancer by Anonymous. Since he was saved by an Embermancer as a child, Rofania devoted himself to the noble art of Embermancy, but found he was inept at using the staves at the time. They required the bleeding of one's hands in order to channel the revelation arts and produce flame. Rofania was saddened to see the number of Embermancers dwindle due to the nature of these staves and decided to help. Embermancy in a new way by travelling to Sufield and developing an Embermancy stave that could be manually used without use of blood or magic. They have a giant, 
giant, beautiful, forgotten what that's called, hourglass. <laughs> Sciences section 29. More Suefield stuff. No, we want to find moss rhyme. Suefield innovations by Klaus Affleck. While cold and isolated, our facilities in Suefield have proven time and time again our effectiveness in mechanical innovation without the use of runes or magics, be they revelation arts or empathy arts. Our elaborate radio transponders, our updated amber mancer staves, our impossibly efficient solar collectors, all these innovations that have improved so many lives have been brought about by the dedication of our Suefield designers and engineers. Good for Suefield. But what about Moss Rhyme? Oh, look at this. I love it. What a gorgeous mushroom garden. I know, that's what I was thinking. Thank you, thank you. This is my own little corner of the librarium. I help keep many of the gardens here in top shape. How wonderful, what inspires you to craft spaces like this? Please say Moss Rhyme, please say Moss Rhyme. Well, I was born in Elithican, which is a pretty arid place. Never felt quite like myself there, like a snake unable to shed its skin. But then the Witch of Rot passed through. She showed me the powers of revelation and with those skills, I blossomed despite the desert around me. Now I practice here at the librarium where I can be closer to the witch who first taught me. I don't hate where I was born. It just wasn't right for me. I'm thankful it ended up working out. The librarium would be a little less bright without skilled gardeners like yourself. But where did that inspire me to go? I can already go to Suefield and I don't want to. <laughs> Not when there's potential for tattoos maybe on the horizon. There's probably not. I probably can't get a tattoo, but I live in hope and we'll only know if I'm inspired to go there. Oh my gosh, we can keep going. This is amazing. Wow. This is so gorgeous. It appears there is a note on the desk. For those seeking audience with gentlemen, sir, thought form of kindness. He is currently occupied with his weekly children's storytelling circle in the gardens. If you wish to join, feel free. Signed, gentlemen, sir, patron of the librarium. Gentleman, sir, was in the more literal as well. Oh, no fall damage. There you are. And so the poet and the peacock meet again. Not getting too lost in this library, I hope. Honestly, just a little. Well, it's certainly not difficult to get lost in a place like this in more ways than one. What brings you here, friend? I was hoping to meet with the famous Witch of Rot and perhaps write poems inspired by awe, but it appears she is not very welcome to conversation right now. Be careful, peacock. Visiting the quarters of that old Wiccanry is quite perilous. Thank you, friend. I appreciate the warning. Think nothing of it. Oh, and here, enjoy this codex page for your troubles. Thank you very much. I don't know what any of it means, but I appreciate it all the same. Hello, are you the witch? Oh! Did she eat me? They weren't kidding, it was dangerous. There's something on the other side. Turn around! So I can read this. Hmm, it's a photo of a long-haired witch with scars on her chest. It looks like it's been eaten at by moths. There's words written in red on the back. A new matriarch sits upon the throne of Moss Rhyme. Not that you would care, Lalan. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't see me. Is that enough inspiration? Not enough yet. We need to find more. Can I talk to you? Definitely not. She doesn't want anyone in here. <laughs> I need to get up there. Success at last. Non-fiction section 73, the fabled of Moss Rhyme. Hopefully that's enough. For many years I have studied that elusive matriarchy known as the Wiccanry, those powerful masters of revelation who hide in the hills of Moss Rhyme. I have seen from afar their monstrous transformations and the echoes of their ancient rituals. 
but few are allowed access to their inner settlements, so there is only so much that I can learn. I dream of the day that they let me in so that I may meet the fabled Witch of Wrath. Is that enough inspiration? It is. We are inspired. We're going to go see Moss Rhyme. Although before when I was jumping around, I did see... Thought Farms. Gentlemen, sir. So beautiful. And as the stone doors were closing, I realized that the only way to escape was to kick the treasure across the floor, the doors getting stuck by the heavy wooden box. And with that opportunity, I was able to escape through the narrow opening right as the wooden chest shattered, massive doors slamming shut inches behind me. Why, with all of the trinkets and jewels that spilled out, I nearly tripped and fell flat on my face. Haha, <laughs> but gen- oh wait, that's a child. Haha, <laughs> but gentlemen, you don't have a face. What? I don't? Oh goodness, why didn't someone tell me? The young scholars laugh and the thought form finishes the storytelling session to an audience of smiling faces. Thank you very much for being patient. I do very much enjoy my time telling those young learners exciting tales. It's a nice break from the more tedious work that needs to be done to keep this librarium in working order. It's no trouble at all. It was a treat being able to listen in. <laughs> you flatter me. Now I must apologize, but I would appreciate if we could continue this conversation up in my office. Of course, I will meet you there. I will climb all those steps all over again. I feel like I should be whew, out of breath. Stairs. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? Now then, what may I help you with? I am looking for insight on something specific and I wanted your take on it. What do you believe is the meaning of life and death? Hmm. A curious quandary indeed. Press S to continue and hear his meaning or press any other button to cancel. We'll cancel. Because I'm worried. Because that's what came up when we traveled last time. And I don't want to not go to Moss Rhyme. So I'm going to talk to the Moss Rhyme person. And see what happens. Valdiri, I think I'm going to take you up on your offer. I just can't stop thinking about the mysterious commune of Moss Rhyme. Oh, that is wonderful to hear. Now, I would advise you to let me do the talking while we are there. Males are not commonly accepted into their domain, but I'm sure we'll be able to work out something temporary. There we go. Oh my gosh, we just went. Valdiri rode us through the mazes of trees to the secret location of the Wiccanry Commune. It was hard to focus due to a magical haze. And we will never know if we were meant to hear the meaning of life and death from Gentleman Sir, but... That is just how life goes sometimes when we're afraid to go too far down the path of a video game in case we can't get back. And then we end up doing that another way. <laughs> I'm still really enjoying the vibe this game gives me. It just feels positive and happy to play. And that's really nice to experience and be in and going on this journey to discover where the mayor's inspiration is going to lead him. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one. If you would like to hang out some more, hit subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.